<laughs> so, the meat is in the pan, it's cooking and everything. And while the pan is getting hot and the meat is starting to brown and stuff, what we're going to do is look over here and see how Jen is coming along. Jen, how are you coming? Two What's more up cheeses to go. Two more cheeses to go. What kind of nut, Jen? Why don't you take us through and tell us what kind of cheeses that we have here? Well, this is mozzarella, and it just tastes really good. It melts really well. This is Dubliners from Ireland, and it's phenomenal. It's like a mix of Swiss and mozzarella. Instead of using regular Swiss, it's really good. And we got mild cheddar cheese, which everybody knows cheddar cheddar. So now you know this this, this Dubliner stuff from Ireland. I, I've never fucked with that. Before. That's expensive. Yeah, I, I bet you it is. And, you know, you don't have to buy this, okay? You know, uh, you can stick with the regular mozzarella and the mom and pop shop cheese up the street. Uh, but, you know, I'm glad that she went out on a limb here because it's going to add some exotic flavor and stuff to what we're fixing here today. And, um, guys, tip, you know, that exotic, that wins you more points when you have a lady and you're serving her dinner and everything. So think about that. If you have a little bit of extra cash flow, well, put it down. Get the Dublin. You know what I mean? It's good. Okay, our meat is coming around now, starting to cook, really cook up, really, really nice. And um, you notice that when you're cooking ground turkey, you don't get that dark, dark flavor. It comes out a lot lighter than ground beef does. And um, it has its own flavor, you know. Uh, like chicken, you know, ground turkey is the next chicken, all right? You gonna ground love turkey it. better than chicken? Nah, nah, my fried chicken, I gotta have my fried chicken. Whoo! I'm gonna fried turkey. turkey. <laughs> <laughs> fried turkey, I don't know. Now, as the, as the meat browns and, and gets ready and stuff, and as Jen uh, gets the cheese ready, Jen! What, what spices and seasonings have you brought with you tonight? You, as you see, Jen always walks around with her handy dandy kitchen tool belt. And in that belt, every episode, she has something different to just bow, wow us with. So we're gonna see what she has in the tool belt. What it's you got? Parsley and minced garlic dried. Minced garlic and parsley and dried. And what do we have? We have basil. And black pepper. We, we got some leaves here. And we got, we got black pepper. Okay, and parsley flakes. Now this is this when you when you finish cooking, you throw some parsley on on top of whatever you cook it, and it just it, it's sitting there bubbling, and you got the little flakes on there, just like from a restaurant. You doing a big dog style? Tell him it's off the chain. Ta da! You can be like I watch cooking with me, you know, this nigga hook me up. You know what I'm saying? It's off the chain. Okay. So our meat is coming along rather nicely. Now I know why they have pre-prepared dishes in the back because you know when we on film and everything and we start cooking this stuff, it takes forever. Yeah. You well know? I forgot the, the fresh garlic, so I'm gonna have to get that in about two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well don't worry, we're gonna go to commercial. Hopefully when you get back, the meat will be done, the cheese will be grated, and we'll be ready to do some more to this. So don't go away. Come back with me, yeah. In 2002, Van Wilder taught us to be all we could be and do everyone we could do. This time, his star student... Yes, I'll have the chicken, please. ...is heading to England. Excuse me, is that Madame Mandeira's Bombay hot sauce? No way, you know it? I have this thing for spices. You have a thing? Oh, oh that's hot. That's, that's actually... Hi. Hi, you look funny. I'm Taj, your new resident advisor. The coolest kids on campus are living here. Who's moving in? The new you, the new all of you. Stand up straight. A man always looks more confident when he's erect. Now at Camford University. I would like to announce the formation of a new fraternal house. Just because you're all making a spectacle of yourselves doesn't mean you're not still invisible to the rest of us. He's discovering the rivalries are bigger. He's a royal jackass. Let's settle this like my ancestors did. You want to exploit me economically? But the best still come out. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> On top. I'm dead. So I assume those are real. You're right. This December, higher education. Yes,
is getting wilder than ever. Meow. 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 A bad doggy. Surprise! Oh, my parents! Oh, National Lampoon's Van Wilder, The Rise of Taj. My son is a hound doggy, eh? Welcome back to Cooking with Mio. As you can see, our, our, our ground turkey is done. Okay, over here, we got the cheeses. Two of the cheeses are already sliced up and ready to be put down for our layers. And we're moving along rather nicely. So I'm gonna cut down the heat here on the turkey. And um, Jenna just brought in, what did you bring in? Some Fresh garlic? garlic. Fresh garlic, oh my goodness. Jen, you are just looking us up today, girl. You know, you usually don't have this stuff. The first time that I what actually made it, because the Wadio usually don't have this stuff. Look, <laughs> the first time that I actually ever made this stuff right here, I didn't have no garlic, I didn't have no seasoning, I had nothing but mozzarella cheese, I had some Mexican cheese, and I had some cheddar cheese. That's all I had. So, you know, we didn't, we didn't come up, you know, putting our monies together and everything, you could make a bomb meal, okay? Now, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna let this meat sit here and you can see how finely I've braided it up so that we can spread it throughout the no lasagna lasagna, okay? Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this pan over here, right? And we're gonna go ahead and lay down the first layer of cheese. And we're gonna start with the Dubliner, okay? So we're gonna take the Dubliner cheese and we're going to ever so lightly just sprinkle it along the bottom. And <laughs> while <laughs> Jen over here you, Jen. <laughs> kills the cheddar cheese, that's cool though. That's cool because you know we ain't got no love for the cheese. We have no love for the cheese, you know. So as you see, we're just spreading the cheese as a layer here on the bottom of the casserole. Or the no lasagna lasagna casserole no lie. you know you can tell girls whatever you want you know and they'll Eat taste cheese it sauce. yeah <laughs> cheese sauce that's what you can call it okay 